Baba wetu katika jina la Yesu, tunakushukuru sana kwa nafasi hii ambayo umefanya kwa ajili ya kila mmoja wetu. Kwa tayari Bwana kusikia neno lako. Naomba kwamba neno lako litakuza maisha yetu kwa kipekee, kwa jia kipekee. Na utatusaidia Bwana kufanyisha neno lako kazi na kuamini zaidi imani yetu kujekeka ndani yako. Pokea sifa zote na utukufu wote maana wewe ni na ni katika jina la Kristo Yesu tumeomba na tumeamini. In Jesus name we pray. Now. Last year last year to be quite a very I don't know it was long or short or tough year politically. Na wakati campaign zilikuwa zinaenda is a phrase that was coming out from one of the presidential candidates and he was actually trying to tell us what he will do uh, once he's elected and the phrase was the plan so wherever he went Either ni kwa siyasa ama kwa mikutano ama wapi Angesema ni kono mpango I have a plan ni kono mpango Na labda kuna watu walikuwa na shiko hii mpango Ya Mpango wanao ngelelea ni upi And probably that is maybe why people really go for the meetings and hear him and somehow, maybe some, that is why they actually uh, uh, decided maybe to give him a chance and see this plan. In many organizations as well, and even in a church like this of ours, the success and the prosperity depends on the plan that such kind of organization has among many other things, the plan, the plan. Note, Mpango, or the plan, is about now and the future. Mpango ni wakile kinafanyika sasa na kitakacho fanyika Kesho ama siku za soni zijazo. So, I have a question for you. Do you have a plan? I think you had a yes. If so, what is the plan? Uo mpango ni ubi? Uko na mpango? Yes or no? But then if you have, uo mpango ni ubi? So today by the grace of God, I want us to look into the plan. So I want to speak about the plan. And in our context, it is the plan of God in our lives as his people and his children. The plan. The plan. Mpango. And the Bible says in Jeremiah 29 and verse 11, I alone Know the plans I have for you. Mimi pekeni na juu mpango ni liyo nao? Wako. Plans to bring you prosperity are not disaster. Plans to bring about the future you hope for. What kind of future are you hoping for? Nikika hapa ni kulize wewe mwenyewe. Uh, miaka tano ijayo. Unakusudia kuwa wapi ama kuwa umefanya kitu gani. Now the Bible says, I know that's a good one. But the Bible says that God, he has that plan. 
for your future. So the best thing you can do, if you have an idea of where you want to go, it is to secure that plan with God. Kuna watu wakona properties mingi, na kwa sababu ya the risk ambazo zinaweza kuwa kwa zile properties, wanawenda wanaziwekea kitu na hitwa nini? Our sister Nancy, when I get to little lady, security in form of insurance. You say it. In form of insurance. For some of you, you can't do it. You can't do it. So, you can't do it. So, you can't do it. 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 And that is why you ask some of the car owners who have a insurance insurance in a comprehensive cover. Comprehensive cover is the demand of the government. The demand of the third party cover. The third party is a good thing. Lakini kava inaitwa comprehensive. Hiyo ime from the word you know imekamilisha kila kitu. You know ina cover kila kitu. That in that car had an accident. Kuna uwezekano mkubwa ya kwamba hilo gari utalipwa value ya hilo gari vizuri. Utalipwa hiyo gari. And if you happen to have an accident maybe you may sababisha kwa gari nyingine kuna uwezekano pia ya kwamba hilo gari ambalo umegonga hapa limeumia kupitia gari lako pia litashughulikiwa wewe tu hautakuwa na gharama kubwa praise the name of the lord so if you want to be safe better the best place to do or the best thing to do it is to secure your life and your plan in Jesus Christ or in God, his son, I mean his father. So the Bible says, I have a good plan for you. And I want to remind this to every one of us, even now, in as much as the business I find in Missouri, as long as you may ensure what can move, we will adjust to Missouri, we will find a way to share with you, we will find a way to share with you. It is safe. Turbulence is not a way to share with you, you know, we will share with you. But as you continue to trust, to consult, the insurer to consult your security and that is God. Let's continue telling him go Ivi, Kunaenda Ivi, Uko Ivi, wherever you end up fire, but make sure that communication is on going. Don't cut the communication. Don't cut the relationship. Let the communication and the relationship be there and good work. And you'll be happy with your future. What is your superior son? So God told the Israelites about this scripture and that indeed he had a good plan for them in the rest of their lives. And so it is even with our lives today. Look at John 3.16. The Bible says, actually we continue to see the continued plan of God in our lives. The Bible says, for God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not die but have eternal life that is a plan a continued plan of god for you and the plan was he is doing this so that this happens so he gives a son so that you have eternal life he gives a son so that you have peace he gives a son so that you have provision he gives a son so that you have good health. He gives a son to sort your issues out. So the difference is, have you accepted this son, Jesus? Now let me remind you this, that God has another plan for us. But this plan of God is hidden or was hidden, but I thank God today it is revealed. Man has a son. Now, Paul writing to the Colossians, the Laodicean people, and the Christians 
uh, of that time. Aliandika hivi katika Colossians chapter 2 and verse 2. Bible inasema hivi, I want Okay, let me read from verse 1 to tuweze kushika vizuri. I want you to know how much I have agonized for you and for the church at Laodicea and for many other believers who have never met me personally. I want them to be encouraged and knit together by strong ties of love. I want them to have complete confidence that they understand God's mysterious plan. Hallelujah. Paulo anawambia hawa, remember ni kanisa uh, ambalo, ama ni kanisa ambalo ni kuwa na wadugu na wadada walio kuwa waminifu kwa kemungu. Na kwa sababu waminifu wo, akawa na communicate na wawo na anawatia moyo sana. So hapa anawambia kumpa, ni anawatia kuhu moyo sana, mukue umeshikanisho kwa moja na mpendo wa Kristo Yesu. Na mukue na nguvu. Alafu anawambia, Ninataka pia wa Kristo waweze kuwa na ujasiri uh, waweze kuwa na ujasiri katika hali ya kuelewa mpango wa Mungu wa siri the mysterious plan of God that is Paul saying talking to the people to the believers you know in Indonesia Colossae and other, 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 other believers that I want you to understand to have the confidence uh, I want to have you to have I want to have the, I mean I want to I want them to have complete confidence ujasiri wa kutosha ama shupavu katika kuelewa mpango wake Mungu Praise the name of Jesus I want you to understand the mysterious plan of God Now the word mystery meaning it is hidden a mystery it is something that so Paul is saying, I want the church, you. I want the church to know the mysterious plan of God. Let me show you what is that mysterious plan of God. The Bible says, I want them to have complete confidence that they understand God's mysterious plan, which is Christ Himself. So mpango huu ambao Mungu alikuwa nao ofiche ni Yesu Kristo mwana Mungu. So Christ Jesus was the plan that God had for man. Now this plan if you go on iko na kazi ambayo ni vizuri kuweza kujua ni kuweza kuelewa mpango huo. Now in this mysterious plan that God had. The Bible says, in Him, who? Christ. In Christ Jesus, lie hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So, katika mpango who? Ambao ni wake mungu. Na mpango ni Christo Yesu. The plan is Jesus Christ. So, in this plan, the Bible says, it is hidden. So in Jesus Christ, inside of him, kumewekwa hazina ya hekima na maarifa. Vanessa sifiwe sana. So iwapo kuna mtu ambaye anaomba Mungu nipe hekima unaomba, hiyo hekima inapatikana kwa mpango. Iwapo kuna mtu anaomba kuelewa mambo hapa, ah? kibiashara kifamilia kidogo kikazi kinini iwapo kuna mambo unahitaji kuelewa vizuri hiyo kuelewa iko katika mpango praise the name of jesus the plan is in the the the, 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 the understanding the wisdom it is in the plan and the plan is jesus christ son of the living god what is the fear son and so so this plan that we are talking about is what we are seeing in john 3:16 that for God loved the world so much that He gave. He gave the plan. What is a secure son? He gave the plan. So have you? Do you have the plan? What is that plan? And are you using that plan the way you're supposed to? 
usipo kuwa na mpango i mean a plan the plan mpango eh hivyo sio kama little bit down kidogo eh, those people ambao wanafanya marujenzi wa manyumba kubwa kama hizi unaona huku they cannot there go start building without something we call a plan pang ino plan okay sijui kiswahili itakwaje that lakini ni ni, ni picha ambayo imechorwa ina inaonyesha every mali chuma itapitia mali simiti itakuwa kiasi gani nyumba itakaa namna gani roof itakaa aje as a plan the plan helps the builder you know makes his work easy the owner let me say this <laughs> the owner of the building doesn't have to be there for the builder to build it. as long as mwenye mwenye yule fundi anayejenga akiwa na hii plan mwenye nyumba si lazima akue hapo akiwa na hii ataweza kujenga vizuri sana you belong to god the father right and we have jesus christ his son the plan so you've got a plan then whatever you desire to do whatever kind of us life you want to live wewe soma mpango praise the name of the lord read the plan study the plan study the plan you study the plan na hiyo nyumba bila mbavi itatoka itakuwa ino inapendeza kwa kila mtu inapendeza vizuri and I was going to the prayer center to see is that kuna nyumba imejengwa somewhere and you nyumba imejengwa kwa roof nzuri and it sisi tulikuwa na nani nikamwambia eh huyo mwenye mweka hiyo roof amefanya kazi nzuri so everybody that have pita pala naona good work kazi nzuri imefanyika pale this man follow the plan vile ni kipe choro asike kwenda hivyo angefanya ndugu zake kwa leo sasa sana so God in his own wisdom he has devised that plan and he has given that plan to man he has given them an opportunity to receive that plan Uh, Luke chapter 19 open your bible Luke chapter 19 As you go there because of the plan that God had for the man and it is a good man and I'm saying that man need to live a good life and a healthy life that pleases him. Not what the Bible says. In I think it's Romans, yes. The Bible says that the penalty of sin is death. Senior. But then God in his own wisdom. Akafanya mpango kwa sababu ya dhambi mingi zilizokuwa katika mwanadamu akafanya mpango wa kuokoa kwa kifo the bible says that the the penalty of, of death of, of, of sin is death and so God devised a plan that you don't die and that plan was in his son and he had just said that but the most amazing thing is this that when God planned this And then Jesus Christ his son knew about that. He did not object to that plan. Alikubalia akasema fine I will do and I will die for them. One time in the place of prayer when Jesus is praying he says Father if it is your will remove this cup from me yet not my will but your will. Anaona hii kitu ninalipa hii gharama hii hii mpango wa Mungu ndio mzuri lakini it is painful for me how oh, it it should be painful but he says nonetheless it is not my plan but yours 
Now, Luke chapter 19, I want us to see something there. Jesus went into Jericho and was passing through. And there was a chief tax collector there named Zacchaeus, who was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but he was a little man and he could not see Jesus because of the crowd. Now, go on Niruken Pakamustari Watisa for the interest of time. Oh, Wanane. Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Sir, listen, sir, I will give half of my belongings to the poor, and if I have cheated anyone, I will pay back four times as much. Jesus said to him, Salvation has come to this house today, for this man also is a descendant of Abraham. Verse 19, verse, I mean verse 10. The Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. But as you as if you were a son. The Son of Man, and that is Jesus, he came to seek and to say lost. So the plan also had a plan. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the plan of this plan in Yuba is to bring out something good. And so the plan of the plan with is Jesus was to come, seek, and not only to seek, but to seek and save the lost. Brother, this was a very sad. And I'm talking to people, every one of us here, and especially to those of us who have claimed to know and to love Jesus. Did you really know what Jesus came to do? Did you really know? What he came to do? Have you heard in your life a Zacchaeus type of, you know, a, you know, type of change? Now, the story of Zacchaeus, no, see, Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus. The story of Zacchaeus to Nigeria is very. Now, wakati Yesu alikuwa na pita, akamuona Yesu. Na kusawa alikuwa na msikia, akasema leo nataa kuenda. Uh, and of course, you know, Jesus is in his house, and in as much as Zacchaeus is a nobody kind of, you know, Lazima, Ata Kama Yesu Mekuja na Nani na Nani. Protocol has it, ya kwamba lazima Zacchaeus akae karibu na nani? Na Yesu kwa sababu ako kwake. Akisha toka na huko anaweza kuwa mtu huko nyuma kabisa. Lakini juu ako kwa Yesu, I mean kwa Zacchaeus nyumbani, wako na Yesu hapa kwa hapa. They are looking eye to eye. They are talking. So, Zacchaeus akakuwa na kitu na hitu wa an encounter with Jesus. Now, when Zacchaeus had that encounter with Jesus, what happened is this, that his life was never the same. So when Zacchaeus encountered the plan with his Jesus, uh, he had, you know, his life was transformed. His life was changed. Now the Zacchaeus wa kufiniria watu, the Zacchaeus wa kutesa watu, uh, the Zacchaeus ambaye likuwa na usito, yani people loved him not. In fact, watu wa likuwa na mtukia sana. And the Bible says he was a rich man. Yeah. This man had what we call a Zacchaeus type of change, or he changed rather, he changed because he encountered Jesus. And that is why I'm bringing a question to us. Have you heard the Zacchaeus type of change of life since you received Jesus as your, as you claim? Uh, could no one go when he said that the father said that he 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 said that Kutoka wakati mulikutana na yeye. Hamefanya nini kwa maisha yako? Ha. Kuna mambo imebadilika kwa maisha yako? Kwa sababu zakaya mulitosha ushuru wali inanyasa wengi. Yesu kuingia tuku wake hivi. We started to see change immediately. Na kanza kumwamini Yesu. Mimi wako ni menyanganya. So wali kwa la jua menyanganya. Ha. Kwa 
hivyo kama nimenyanganya mtu nitarudisha mara ngapi nne and that is exactly what he did praise the name of the lord has there been any difference in your life is there a difference between you who claims to love god you who claims to be a believer and a follower of christ and that neighbor who does not go to church that neighbor who does not pray that neighbor who does not know anything about god is there any difference between you and them you is a neighbor and you claim jesus is there any difference between you and the colleague at the place of work or in your business could i support you is there anything that happen, has happened today or even is happening right now in your life as a result of confessing Jesus as your savior? What do we see in the life of Zacchaeus? The moment to Yesu ameingia, amekutana na yeye, mabadiliko ilianza immediately. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ilianza immediately, not kesho. Huh? Sio kesho. This was what we call a personal encounter. Zacchaeus had a personal encounter with Jesus. And after that, he did not continue to do his usual business. No. He changed the very day. He changed the very day. Tanarudia, kutoka ulipo pokea Yesu, pango kwa maisha yako. Kuna mambo imebadilika. The Bible says it's first John, first Corinthians, which, chapter 5 verse 17, that if no one is in Christ Jesus, he's a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. Ya kale ya maisha na mwapia ya maingia. So after Jesus, I mean after Zacchaeus met Jesus, what he hear is that I have to judge. Ni lazima niache mwongo. Actually, he had to pay back what he had stolen from people of mwongo. Wana sifio sana. And I'm speaking to myself, I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to the church of Jesus Christ this morning. There must be a judge. For those who claim to know God, to know the plan Jesus Christ, that's Zima Kwena Mabadiko. Nahi, see, see, so nare, atuna kum zuri, kuligana mali uko. Apana, you be who you are in Christ at all times. If you talk about Jesus in church, talk about Jesus in the marketplace. If you talk about honesty in church, be honest in the place of work. Be honest at home. If we talk about doing the right thing, it is not the right the, the right thing because you are doing the right thing because of convenience. It is the right thing at all times. There's no way a wrong can be right because it is you who is saying the wrong. Abana. It has to be every time because of the encounter that you have with Jesus. So after Jesus, after Paul, I mean after Zacchaeus had an encounter with Jesus, kunaele maneno babo alisema pale. Wakati alisema hayo, si Yesu wame msikiza tu. Ah, Yesu alikuwa na msikiza. And so Jesus said this, Salvation has come to this home today. And also Jesus said, the son of man, the son of man, Jesus was speaking about now himself as a plan. The son of man came to seek and save the lost. He had just saved the one who was lost. He kept seeking and he got him. And so he saved him from the position of Alikua, the position of seeking wealth in the wrong way cheating people you know and many other things so the plan that the plan came for was to save man so mungu kama na mpango katika mwanae 
na mwanayo mpango wake ukawa sasa ni wakutafuta kilicho potea those who are lost therefore the plan of God was to send mouth to his son Jesus who are lost the not believers praise the name of Jesus those who claim to love God but are very far, far away from him kuna watu wanazema wanapenda mungu ama wameokoka but the truth of the matter is they are not they are just uh, camouflage you know wanaweka tu sura wakati fulani lakini wakati mwingine wako mbali sana na yeye sababu ambayo ilifanya Yesu kuja sababu ambayo ilifanya Yesu kukufa kutenda umate kuteswa mingi kupitia uchungu mwingi ni ndipo aweze kuleta uokovu kwa mwanadamu kumuokoa praise the name of Jesus and what is Jesus saving man from he is saving man from so much from sin bible says he came to seek and save who are lost wale waliopotea na kupotea my friend sio kuona kwenda nyumbani kutoka nyumbani kwenu eh? na na, na kuwa sasa unjalala nyumbani umepotea ah ah yes there was in abadeas so we carried somebody from within the neighborhood because we knew so we passed through the Abadeas forest. Then, so we met a place ambapo kuna kuna machuma zimewekwa such that nani wasipite. Wanaitwa nani? Dovu wasipite. Acha tulisimama tukauliza hizi mitano zimewekwa huko ni za nini? Kaambiwa zimewekwa hapo ndio dovu wasiwezi kupita hapo. So one the person who might remember kama anatuambia siku moja kuna mtoto wa nephew yake alienda hiyo area uh, kutembea wakati alienda kutembea aka ona vijana wenzake wakichesi wakichesi dogo dogo alikuwa amekuja karibu na nyumbani so anamchesi wanachukua sibi masufuria madini kelele ndio wanachesi huyo 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 ndogo so kijana amekuja tu kutembea amekuja na vijana wenzake na mta ajui huko wacha wachesi dogo ndani kwa msingi wakaenda 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 wakachukua wametokea mali mwingine alafu huo vijana kila kijana akaenda kiingia kwao akaenda kiingia kwao huyu ni mgeni amejikuta ameacho peke yake na hajui anaenda wapi alizunguka usiku mzima mimi na for long time wake kafika mahali akachangajikiwa akaenda akaingia kwa boma akalala nje juu sasa hajui kuna wapi au okay hajui kuna watu au kuna watu kaenda kalala pale so the following day the auntie yake anamtafuta akamtafuta akamtafuta akamkuta belala somewhere kwa kichaka huko amechoka the guy got lost completely kabisa na auntie asinge mtafuta it was another risk because now dogo kwa kule wengi so that at my the, the auntie got got this 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 young boy now the kind of the work that Jesus came to do friends Sio kutafuta watu ambao wamepotea eh hajui kwa ni wapi Zachary like this boy he came because of that spiritual connection and the relationship that he wants to build with you what is as a person and some of us we may never have gotten lost like my boy here when you are there for visit you when that do you go there kama yuko kijana but truth be told is that some of us we are lost in so many things and you are the kind of a person that Jesus gave some people are lost in the dread kuchukia watu ah huh? unaona mtu amengara tu vizuri unaamka tu na unasikia ninamchukia na hujui haja kufanyia kitu haja kuongelesha haja kukopa ah huh? hana deni ati amenunua kanguo sasa eh, ni pesa yako anatumia ah kuna but you just see somebody because of the way they present themselves unawatukia kure hmm? unaona anaendelea vizuri kuliko some people are lost in hatred. A hatred about you is about. Some hate lost in gossip. Uh, talking behind the backs of people. 
Ah, akipita tu hivi ushaitana kafuta kukuja unaona? Ah, ushaanza kutengeneza debate. Lost in gossip. You have nothing to do until you go looking for someone. Ulisikia nini? Sasa ukishaosubizwa nini unasema hallelujah. Thank you. For giving me an opportunity. Ah? Lost in gossip. Lost in cheating. Kuna watu wamepotelea kwa uongo. Eh? Wanadanganyana vizuri. Life life. Me go deliver us from that. And that is why Jesus came, friends. Jesus came for that. To seek and save the lost. So what are you lost in? Are you lost in, in cheating? Kutanganya, lies. Huh? Lies. Uwoko after uwoko. Excuses. Huh? Unaulizu wa kitu msaabu ujafanya na utaki kusema sijafanya. You look for something, an excuse. But these are excuses are lies. And they are not godly. Actually, they are not. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you lost there? Kwa kudanganya, wongo. Mara umedanganya mpe, mara umedanganya mke, mara umedanganya mama, mara umedanganya mdosi, mara umedanganya nani. I'm not telling you I'm perfect in this, but I'm trying my best. I would rather keep quiet than tell someone a lie. And I would encourage you to say, oh, you'd rather keep quiet. I'm a ulenga your story. But I will get wongo. Na hii wongo utawonge ita kukwata. Praise the name of the Lord. Umoya miwa, mtu mwenye kwa miwa wongo na unajui ni wongo. Ha, mtu mwenye kwa mtu mwenye kwa kitu na mwenye ni wongo. Expression of Usu. How is the feeling? Kimzuri? Wewe unafikiria wa kini unafikiria kwa hajo kwa nakanya? Kama huwe sijaki vizuri. Unasikiria kwa wanafraya kwa vizuri sana? Ha? Ha? I know all of us, we are, we are, we are, the victim, someone, the villain, someone, the man. You blind before. And please trust God. And sometimes, it has been so much until you don't have a common lifestyle. Yani, ah, you don't need it. You don't need it. The Bible says in Psalms, I can't trace the scripture in this way. God detests in lying lips. Mungu afraishu ina wongo, na ulimi unawo, nge wongo. I have encountered so many people who have told me the lies, and I know it is lie. It's a lie, and I know, and I can see. It's a lie. But now because mtu mtu mkubo wezi chapa kofi, mtoto ni uleza chapa kofi. Kini mtu mkubo unambi yoke, msa. Hape kuona mjika lakini wewe, unajua huyu, unachezea tu lakini, msa. God, God Jesus, came because of that. To save you is lost in eyes. Hallelujah. Let's be men and women who speak the truth. It can cost us sometimes. Let's speak the truth. And it will help us. It will deliver us. In fact, God will be happy of us. That's how we talk about the Lord. I'm going to talk about the Lord. You know, mara mingi tunaonge wongo sababu tunataka kufurahisha mwanadamu. Ama tunataka kujitoa katika shida. Na ona hapo kwa kwa exciting sana, tunatoke hapo. But may God deliver us from lies. May God deliver us from cheating. Are you lost in fornication and adultery? Usinzi, kutenda dhambi na pwili wako for the married and for the young people who are not married, fornication, and that thing for the married. Are you lost there? Huh? Because your wife or your husband are doing, or because your brother or your sister or your pastor or your friend or your neighbor are doing, are you finding yourself you are lost in there? And sometimes when you are lost, you are just confused. You don't know what to do. This is your boy, when you are lost, you are lost. He is just lost. All you need is help. When you are lost and you're confused, which you want to do, it is help. And one thing is this, help is available. Amen. Help is available. Even for you when you don't care about cheating, I'm not condemning you. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, the Bible says, Romans chapter 8. There's no condemnation. But then find your way out. 
find your way out. Because those lies will kill you. That hate that will kill you. Literally, it can kill you literally, by the way. May God help us. And because the plan came, the plan is to save you. Who is lost? Desire that. Corruption is another. Are you lost in corruption? In greed, a man. In idol worship and many other things. Jesus came because of that. To seek and to save the lost. So if it's lost in hatred, lost in, 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 a, in a gossip, lost in lies, lost in fornication, lost in corruption, lost in adultery, lost in greed, lost in idol worship, uh, worship of other gods, other things, worship of money, worship of property, worship of people in the name of honor. Yeah? Worship of people in the name of honor. Have you gone to some places where people worship people? And you got in Yeshima, to now Patia Yeshima. But they worship people because. Vanessa is a fierce son. So, Jesus came because of that. I want to wind up by saying this. As we celebrate this week about the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, it is good for us to know that that was God's plan for you, to save you. Na shukuru bwara, bwana sana kwa sababu ya mpango wake kwa kwa kuniokoa. If it were not for that plan, maybe I'm not be sharing the word of God with you today. Bwana sifa sana. I'm not be sharing the word of God with you today. But because of the plan of God, I am here. I receive him. I accept the plan. If you don't accept, I cannot see God here. But I know he is somewhere. And he has a place. Something is working out for me. And I've got to receive. I've got to accept. <laughs> this week, uh, is it this week? Yes. There's a gadget I bought from a friend of mine. So there's an application you want to take in the game. Because I always have to make your application on your phone. You need to be on Wi-Fi. You can't. You need to be on the plan. You can't be on it. You need to be on the device. You can't be on it. You need to be on accept. You can click accept. You click accept. I need to answer the phone. I don't want to get any data. I need to be on the phone. You know, I feel to the, the icon in the end. In the end, in the end. Then I can be a damn. Why was my request uh, fulfilled? There was a request sent to me. And I clicked accept. Everything was done for me. Honestly, yes, everything was done for me. We've got to accept the plan that God, who is far away that we cannot see him, he has a plan. Accept that plan. Faithfully. John chapter 1 verse 6. God sent his messenger, a man named John, who came to tell people about the light. So that all should hear the message and believe. John chapter 1. And verse 8. Now himself was not the light. He came to tell about the light. This was the real light. The light that comes into the world and shines on everyone. The word was in the world, and though God made the world through him, yet the world did not recognize him. He came to his own country, but his own people did not receive him or accept him. Verse 12. Some, however, did receive him and believed in him. So he gave them the right to become God's children. So Jesus, God had a plan, and this plan was Jesus, and so he sent that plan to the world. Now, for the world to be at peace and to be free, the world needed to accept that plan that God had, and they be, they be given some rights. 
So the Bible says, those who accepted him, they were given right to become children of God. Na alikuwa mekuja kwa kila mtu. So wale walio mpokea kwa patia uweza. Wale walio mpotea, amini walio mkubali, akawakua, sasa wamepatikana na yeye, na sasa anawakua, anawakua, he's saving them from the shows of the world, of the enemy of the world. From the evil plans of the devil. Let me say this. As God has a good plan for you, the devil equally has a plan for you. Whose plan do you choose? Honor Sipia Sam. Ben, you go to Pango now, and you stand here at Pangia. And what is the plan of the devil? John chapter 10 and verse 10. Hallelujah. John chapter 10 and verse 10. The thief comes to do us. Steal, to destroy, and to finally kill. That is his plan. Ume ume jenga mali, ume paka mali, ume fanya nini? Adu ya kisha chua hivo, na na chua baadhi na elekea. Ana anza, ana hivo. Akisha kuhi ba wewe mariake. The next step ata fanya ata hivi bukira ume pata. Kyo te? Ah. Akisha alibu wana kumaliza na kuwacha huku wanaenda kwa mwingine. Right, choose God. Choose the plan Jesus. And when you have Jesus, the confidence is this. Hauta weza kuangamia. Wana Yesu wa sempia sana. Hauta. Na shetani ya wezi ya kakuiba, you who belongs to Christ. I want you to close your eyes this morning. And just appreciate the plan of God for you. And the plan was that he gave out his just son Jesus Christ who we are remembering about his death and resurrection and after that what he did is this that he had a plan for salvation and to seek and to save that which was lost what are you lost in? I want you to discover that and whatever you are lost in any struggle any addiction that you are lost in uh, admit that and then allow Jesus Christ Allow him to save you from that addiction. Kama ume perfect kwa wongo na ikusugui, it is evil, it is wrong, it is sin. Just speak to the Lord and tell him, Lord, I'm here. You came to seek and save the lost. I am lost in lies. I'm lost in addiction. Nime zama katika wongo kwa mambo wabawa ya kufraishi. Kwa kile apacho wa kufraishi mungu naomba unisame. Na ninaomba kusaidiwa na wewe katika jina la Yesu. Unless all of us are saints, then 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 na fikiri ya tu kosa. But kama sisi wote tu na changa moto hapa na pale, whatever it is, just tell the Lord. Iya, I am Lord, minister to me. Ni wudu mi ebuana katika jina la Yesu. We all know ourselves. We know situations that we are in. Just speak to the Lord and tell Him to minister to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And thank you for the plan. And one thing also pray and tell him, and the Lord could hear your pango wako katika maisha yangu. And the Lord could hear your pango wako katika maisha yangu kwa katika jina la Yesu. Jina la Yesu kuzote na weza wote. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Make that prayer. Make that prayer. Kumbi ya buwana nisaidi. Ni okoi hapa. Deliver me from this. Deliver me. And he is faithful. He is faithful. He will do that. He will do that. He will do that. He will do that. Let's be a church that is godly. A church who works as God wants, a righteous church, you know, a righteous church. We do things the right way, the way God wants it done. We are doing them right in Jesus' name. Thank you for that prayer. Just make that prayer in Jesus. And maybe you're here and you're not born again out of Coca, so you don't actually understand what we are saying. I know you've heard, but I know you will understand after you receive Jesus Christ as Lord God and Savior over your life. So you have a Mali happen out of Coca. I want you to raise up your hand. And take it back. I will pray for you. You want to go home out there? Go and go get paid up. Go get to Mister Jesus. He do want to come to work because some of these things may be just passing weed to you. But as you receive Jesus, then something new happens in your life. Go go pale out there? Go and go get paid up. Go get paid up. Jesus Christo. Come and go to your Maisha Yako. Just lift up your hand again. I will see it. And wherever you are, maybe at home, you want to receive Jesus so that you receive this wonderful plan of God in your life. I'm going to pray for you. 
in Jesus name. Father I want to thank you. I want to praise you for every one of us. We thank you for your plan in our lives. And now in Jesus name. I want to commit ourselves before you. And pray dear father that in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord you are going to help us our lives. Everyone here struggling in one area or another. They are lost inside of it. Lord I pray that it may come through for them. And Lord save them. Lord save them. Lord save them. That's the purpose as to why you came on now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for salvation of everyone who is within us, O oh God, everyone under the reach of my voice, Lord, I pray. May there be the healing of God in their spiritual lives, in Jesus' name. I pray that you may save them, O oh God. I pray for salvation in their lives, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the name above every other name. Father, we thank you, we praise you. For that one who desires to get born again, Lord, Lord, may you save them because you know them and you understand them. I pray for the salvation of God in their lives. May it be well with them in Jesus' mighty name. Receive all the praise, receive all the glory, and receive all the honor. This is my prayer, and I desire that all of us be going to walk right and please you at every moment of our lives. We thank you, we praise you, and we honor your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we give thanks. In Jesus' name we pray and we give thanks. Amen. Amen. Amen.